Hey guys, what's up? It's Dina here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, I do all kinds of videos that are lifestyle and beauty related from like product reviews to life hacks or random talks. So if you find my videos interesting, please don't forget to subscribe by clicking that red button below and I would really appreciate it. So recently I've reviewed two of the three nude stick products that I bought, one of which is the Magnet Matte Lip Color Pencil and the Magnet Eye Color Pencil which are these two products and they both come in these tint boxes which are really cool packaging. So today I'm going to review the third product that I bought with this purchase which is their revolutionary eyeliner product. So the reason I haven't reviewed this earlier is because I haven't been wearing eyeliner for a long time because of my lash extensions. I usually just have one or the other. If I have extensions, I just do eyeshadow. If I don't have extensions, which is currently the case, they're like falling off and uh, there's very few left. Um, I would start using eyeliner for a while. I am currently wearing the eyeliner right now on my eyes. Um, it's just a very thin line close to my lash line. It's, uh, I didn't do anything dramatic like a cat eye or something. I usually don't do it. So in my review, as always, I will talk about what I like and don't like about this product as well as show you guys my application video. So first and foremost, let's talk about the packaging as always. Uh, this one also comes in one of these tint boxes that are basically the same size as all the other ones. Um, so I think almost all of their products comes in one of these tip boxes, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, on the packaging, it says uh, this product is called Revolutionary Rollerball, and I'll explain why. And uh, here it says Rock and Roller Easy Eyeliner Ink. So it's a um, liquid eyeliner. And uh, on the other side, it says just shake, rock, and roll on. So opening the box, as always, there's a mirror on the lid, which is very useful. And then there's a piece of paper that um, sort of explain the product a little bit more. And then um, the box with the product inside. And the color that I bought is the black one, Black Moon. It's called Black Moon. They also have two other colors. One, uh, both are metallic colors, uh, but I went for the more traditional classic one. So the selling point of this product is definitely the shape of the applicator. It's very different from anything I've seen. And this is totally the reason that I bought it because I really didn't need one more eyeliner. I have so many in my bag that I haven't used. Um, but I found this to be very innovative. It's a very well designed for to address one of the pain points that a lot of us face. So this applicator basically looks like a pizza cutter, but it's like tiny, tiny, tiny. So when I saw it at Sephora, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. This is gonna be so much easier to use than a regular eyeliner brush. Um, so I immediately decided to buy it. I was just so excited about the design of it that I just got it. And it sold at $24 US dollars. So basically the, pretty much the same as the other two products that I bought. Their prices are pretty much the same um, for all their products. So obviously you can see my excitement when I first got it and I was really looking forward to using this. However, I have to say it's, it, the product is a little bit disappointing to be honest. And before I go into sharing my opinions, I just wanna show you guys how this thing looks and how it's used. So it comes in one of these standard looking, nothing unusual uh, eyeliner containers. And um, what you do is you have to really shake it well before you open it. So there's uh, that and then you twist it open and voila, here's the thing. Here's the uh, pizza cutter. So it can feel quite different to use this brush head or this applicator versus a regular liquid liner brush um, because you are sort of drawing with like a roller versus a brush so 
the force that you use to apply um, and the thickness and the angle it takes a little bit of to get used to but for me because I don't really go for any like dramatic looks or curves or anything like that so it's it's not that hard to get used to in terms of the application it basically just use looks like this so if you want a little bit of a thicker effect you just um, angle it differently so more ink goes on and uh, that's pretty much it all right, so I am going to let it sit for like 20 seconds till it dries and then I'll show you guys if it comes off. Um, what I like about this product, its applicator is definitely a revolutionary design. I will give them credit for that. It's uh, for me easy to use and the best thing about it is that you can get as close to your lash line as you want. It just really gets in there and it won't get really thick when you get really, really close to your lash line. So that's like the best part about it because I really sometimes just want a really thin line on my lash line and that's it. And so this does it perfectly. And some people are like scared of the applicator like cutting your eye or anything. No, it's, it's not going to happen. It's like a really soft plastic uh, that's there and it's not like sharp as in it would cut you so no worries there and uh, just roll away all right so I think it's been like at least 40 seconds let's see so it is pretty much set it's dry if I touch it now nothing's gonna happen however it's supposed to be like smudge proof and waterproof but here's the thing that I don't like about this is that I'm gonna use like a wet napkin and show you guys how easy this thing comes off so I'm just gonna like sort of rub on it see it's already coming off it's crazy so it's not like one of those where you try to destroy it and it would not come off and you have to use waterproof makeup remover. It, this thing comes off really easily. And you see it kind of like flakes, which is super annoying. So like, it's gone. Isn't that crazy? It was like completely dried. I could feel it. Like if I just lightly touch it with my hand, nothing will happen, nothing will come off, but if I use like, um, if I sweat, let's say, uh, or if my eyelids get oily, or if I get like contact with water, this thing will come off as, as soon as I touch it, or sometimes when I don't. So that's the thing that's like the biggest problem I have with this product is that there's something wrong with the formula. Like the pigmentation is fine, um, it's not bad, but it doesn't last it doesn't stay there and it doesn't dry as quickly either so first of all when you try to apply this thing if you ever tried it try it at Sephora with their sample you apply a layer and then if you want to have a darker or thicker effect you would normally go on to draw a second layer or line on top of what you just drew so when you try to do it with this product you kind of have to wait for like a minute um wait till it completely dries and then you try to apply for another layer and chances are that you when you apply the second line you might scrape off the first layer that you drew because the applicator is kind of not a brush first of all so the shape of it kind of does that in the first place and then secondly the formula just doesn't stick it's not one of those eyeliners that you draw and then you can immediately draw another layer on top and nothing will come off and it just builds up but this thing really doesn't it just really doesn't last like i said if you get water contact if you like get oil lids which I don't but it still doesn't last like half a day or towards the end of the day you will see these 
the line slowly becomes fractured and it's just not pretty so I am really disappointed at the ink part of this product uh, although I love the applicator I love the design I love how innovative it is I really really want nude stick to fix the formula for their next generation of the rock and roller eye ink um, so if you're watching nude sticks please please improve your formula and it's gonna be a great product but for now I really don't recommend it unfortunately but um if you guys think otherwise or there's like something I'm doing wrong, please do let me know and share it in the comments below. I've watched some other reviews. Everybody think there's something wrong with the formula. It's sad. It's it's just really unfortunate. Alrighty, so that concludes my review for the Nude Stick Rock and Roller Eye Ink and all of my other uh, Nude Stick reviews. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I will link the other product reviews at the end of this video as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye!